Hi, welcome to the next video. We have our next question, which is from Roojan, who says, here's a more private question. Being such a big streamer as you are, how is the process of making new friends? Just the sheer amount of trust you'd have to put in these new people is huge because you never know, are they there only to leech from you or to manipulate you? I'd love to hear such a process from you. This is tough. Let's say you work in a corporate job. You could be friends with someone that's maybe a VIP of the company, but what you gotta realize about that is, that's not gonna grant you instant success. That friendship would have to stay for years, potentially, until you finally get that little Easter egg that you really want, which is the success. That doesn't work in the Twitch world. You get instant success by being friends with me. An example of that, is anyone that's ever come into my house instantly gets more viewers. Amaru, for example, is now a close friend of mine, has gone from averaging about 1,200 viewers to hitting about 15,000 viewers average because of her hanging out with me so much. Even someone like Zoyle, who just came to my house, is now averaging 1,000 viewers more because he's in my house. This is not me trying to be like gloaty. This is just facts. It's just the truth. So knowing that success, it's not only hard to make friends, it's almost impossible. Being who I am, the only people that I feel like won't be, I can truly do believe aren't going to leech from me are the people that are around my size or bigger because those people don't really need me. They don't really care for it. For example, Soda Poppin is my friend. I'm making videos. Soda doesn't need anything from me. He doesn't gain as much and I don't think he really cares for any of that gain that he would even get, which would be negligible to his success. Him and I being friends is legitimate. Asmongold, for example, is also like that. And even people like Nick Pollum. It's it's people who are much lower, right? The one to five K viewers and a lot of the people that I bring around myself every day. For example, Alinity. I became good friends with Alinity over this past year. Alinity's now one of my closest friends I have. Do I believe she's truly my friend? Yes. There's nothing wrong with them coming here and wanting success for me. Because the thing is, if they are getting that success, that means they're coming on my stream, which is also benefiting me. But does that really show that you're friends? Off stream, and I think I, I, maybe I have a keen for this, and I think a lot of people do as well. You can see who really are good people. I believe almost anybody in this world has good in them. And I don't think it's a problem if they're coming here for not only friendship, but also success. Zoyo came here because he wanted to grow. Zoyo also came here because he was very lonely in the EU and wanted friends. I'm able to kind of understand and sense after hanging out with them if they really do care about me as a friend or if they care about me as just Ms. Kiff. I wouldn't hang out with these people on my stream. I wouldn't give them the success or even bring them on my stream in general if I didn't believe that they were my friends. Especially I wouldn't let them live in my house or join my org or any of that. I love my friends and we hang out all the time off stream. We're always with each other, whether it's upstairs, downstairs. Crazy Slick, for example, has been one of my best friends for three and a half years. When I was a 50 viewer streamer, me and, me and him were hanging out. Russell came to my Discord and, and introduced himself as Soda Poppin's mod, and he was a 50 viewer streamer, and he was bigger than me. And even s -Fan. I've known s -Fan before I was even a streamer. These people were my friends. I don't have to question that. Despite my success, they were there for me. They were there, my, they were my friends. Now here's the thing. A lot of the people around me that you see every day, I do deem are good people and I do deem like Matthew, but there are a lot of people I don't believe that is true. There are a lot of streamers that I just keep as my friends on streamers because I know that they don't really value me as a friendship and I know they don't really care for it. And that's okay. We're essentially business associates. I don't mind that they just like having me on because I'm content. It's my job and it's their job as well. Private life wise, I, I, it, is, it is a never ending battle to try to believe that someone's really my friend or not. And the worst part about it, and that really does suck, I will always sometimes in the back of my head question if we truly are friends based on you liking me or is it more so that you like my viewers. As I've done with Slick and Russell, Simply and Emmy and a lot of the people around me, I do believe that they do like me as a person. And these are good people. They don't try to just come on my stream all the time. Usually it's me asking them to come on my stream. I do like to hang out with these people. They like to watch movies with me. I'm probably on my phone half the time, but I'm still there. For example, someone like Hassan. Me and Hassan started off as just coworkers, I would say. But I truly believe Hassan is my friend. And I think if I stopped streaming, Hassan would still be my friend and we would still hang out. He's probably not someone you'd truly expect that I would say, but it's the truth. I do like Hassan. He is a good person. I've judged that based on Hassan and me hanging out off stream. And I do believe that me and Hassan are close friends. It's just an intuition that you have to have. But don't get me wrong. Do not think that I don't question that intuition all the time. I do. I will always question it. My job 
is not like anyone else's. You instantly have su success when you walk through that door. For me to judge if they're really my friend or not, after the fact that they come through that door, is very difficult to do. And sometimes it does feel very lonely. Everyone in my house is obviously, I, I full blown believe they are my friends. But I have some of that core that will always be there. That makes me feel a lot more comforting, comforting knowing that I have those true friends that I know without a doubt they're my friend. Thank you so much for watching these videos. I hope you are enjoying them. I will keep making them as I go along. Please have a Merry Christmas. Do me a favor, put down the phone, talk to your family once in a while. You will remember it and you will be thanking me. Goodbye.